could be kind of. I, w I wouldn't hate Skarner. But I, I do think that looking at what KT have, opportunity to isolate a target, be it a Kha'Zix. Uh, I don't think you should ever get onto Zeri, but uh, Kha'Zix and Annie both can be somewhat susceptible. Uh, should still feel good, and this is a lot of fave that Home Alive is putting into their new jungler. Yeah. As uh, we round it out with a Cassante. KT's draft, extremely well rounded. Great engage. Uh, a little bit short on the, the range department, but I don't think that's that big a problem when you have Alistair and Annie. That was level four. And Should know King that. just trying to keep him interested. Oh, this wave state is kind of rough here for King Oh, well, there's another Infernal Chains. Finds the Q3, and Kingen was baited in. Keen gets out of the way, and that is first blood. Kingen, you could see a little bit of a scratch of the head there. That's Grizzly. Oh, okay. Finds Keen, who was just backing. This could get them a flash, and it does. Just ahead of that potential play is Keen is going to find an all out under the turret. Keen actually taking a lot of damage as BDD now looks interested because the Infernal Chains come in and there's the flash. Tibbers King is just dead. He does a bit of a flip in the air, but Tibbers comes down and says nope. And Grizzly is going to find a bit of damage onto BDD, but BDD's got a bodyguard. Finds an incinerate stun there as well, and Tibbers. It's incredibly valuable as there is the headbutt taxi flash pole onto Viper. Good flash to get out of the way of the grand entrance as Viper has to kill her instinct and flash to get BDD out of the way. BDD with a stun on hand but doesn't have the most health and Kane moving in here now as well. We got back coming through from the bottom lane as Kane is taxi forward. There's an Empress Divide used defensively. Works out quite well here for Zekka as it's going to be the steal and Grizzly's going to go down as well. A kill for Cuz as massive as life does dash in. They do get an all out though and now it's Kane dashing around this fight but still I think he's too low and they're going to grab a couple of kills off the back end. Cuz gets the eye. They lose out on the team fight and Cuz still could be in trouble here. Does wait for the Q2 before... Yeah, using... game is uh, is kind of completely going down the same path of the last couple. Viper, um, there's his Hex Flash. Yeah, there's the uh, Hex Flashing Bull, and he is just going to dance underneath this turret. Nice little stun there, Viper, no cleanse, remember. But Lehens is going to take a lot of damage. It was a tempo ult, and it, you know, they got the dragon. Oh, BDD's going to flash, he does respect the Emperor's Divide. Zekka taking a bit of damage right here as BDD lane is okay, aiming. He's altered already. Viper taking a little bit of burst fire damage as now they're looking for plates. Cuz is going to make his way in though, and Hanwa are between the turrets now. Cuz kind of minion blocked. Uh, uh, aiming actually looking for the angle as Cuz is going to burst himself in. There's a quickness onto the bug. Viper trying to find the Akathian rain, and now it's just Lahans kind of by himself. BDD moving in though. BB. Doesn't have Tibbers available, but the Incinerate is still there as Cuz trying to get some health back here by pressing W on this Gromp. Does get the health charge after he takes it down. And now Keen keeping this dragon busy. Kingen is pretty scary in this moment. Shellfish not going to be taken here as it now moves over towards Grizzly. The dragon back in the pit now. As the battle lines are set up, the Sand Soldier's in there as well. And it looks like this Drake is going to be given over to Harmalife Heats Wars. KT recognizing they can't poke this in the eye as he does get a headbutt back onto life. He's going to come in, but he does get pulverized out. There's a kickback onto Kuz, who's unable to secure the eye. Nicely played there by Grizzly. Extendo Beam doing some work as Lahans has got flash. There he goes. Find a pulverize onto Grizzly, but doesn't get life with it. As the safeguard does come back, Lahans doesn't have X Flash yet, but he does have an unbreakable will. Um, let's see whether he can keep himself alive. Is he still looking for even more? Just dancing around the rift. It's going to be Zekka that locks down the kill. And, and moving down, our first Chemtech Drake is on the rift. Mega Blast Cone comes in as Grizzly is going to get the jump scare. Cuz dives forward. There is Tibbs, but he's going to get altered away by Zekka. They're just taking so much damage and aiming just ults his way in. That's a double kill as he takes both of them. Wants to kill this turret as well, but the backdoor bonus is going to mean that's going to be all right. And Tibbs tanks this one up for him. Thank you very much, Tibbs. And BDD teleports him into the mid lane. We've now got an all out angle here for Keen going aggressive onto King and see whether the world is going to end or whether Cassante is going to Cassante. And it looks like it's going to be the latter as Keen gets the solo. As yeah. the Baron has already been started, Keen is just going to wander his way over. Lahens just being a bodyguard life. Don't know whether he's going to be able to get in there. There's the flash, the special delivery he got of in. the pigeon. They just roast him. That is dinner prepared, and they'll take a Baron as well. KT eating good tonight. Ezeka just going to bail from the whole situation. Yeah. No, this, it is, uh... It is, it is dire. Well, aiming might get caught, and he is going to dash into an Emperor's Divide. He explodes a little, and...
which you should not have do it, be doing is, is King and going down. But that is about to happen. This seems against the game plan as he has decided he wants to end the world. It's a lot of damage. BDD actually just flashing away cuz not going to quite find the Q, but Kingen is still going to be dead. And the teleport does come in from Kane. So still, the KT game plan working out. All the W's beautiful here from Kane. Deciding to go all out now onto Zekka. KT, they can move towards a Baron that is just spawning about this second. And it's Grizzly that's caught alone. The W doesn't land there from Kuz. The kick comes back, but Lahens is just keeping him busy. A Q to Taxi, but it's not going to work. And now aiming, oh, almost actually that caught out of position thing, but he did have a bodyguard. It's Kane there, he's got his gargoyle stone plate, so he ain't going down anytime soon. And well, against, against Soul. Seeker connects onto Lehen, so does the Q as Grizzly can safeguard his way out. Needed to do that. Does have a stopwatch on the Lee Sin as Hanwa. They're going to give up the Drake. All right, boys, he connects onto BDD. Just don't really see any angles. It's okay. Grizzly's gonna find a kick flash onto aiming. And then a get the heck out of there with a safeguard as life dies into the back oh. line. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. But I don't think it's gonna work. Extender Beam comes in and now aiming. He's just getting that health back. He's under 50% as Viper is gonna die somewhere off in the distance. And Extender Beam from aiming's going to do it. And the wallets, I think, are just too heavy. KT going to get to work on these Nexus turrets, and it is indeed that clean 3-0 with nothing to see here. Welcome to Dajon, to KT Rolster. Our first seed are going to make up for their previous loss in the last best of five, and they are heading to the loser's final. And in this final game, again, I think it was Lahens and Cuz. That jungle support duo, the big difference maker. Lahens. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what does it mean? What? I don't know. Is he coming for Zayas? Yeah, he's coming for Zayas, I guess. We want to try and keep it interesting. We want to try and talk about reverse sweep possibilities and things like that. We knew. But uh, it is. It was a very elementary type series. And KT going to be filled with a lot of confidence heading towards Dajon as well. And that rematch of the Telecom War. Every Telecom War in best of fives this year has been incredible. Uh -huh. And we're going to get that in the arena. Going to be amazing to watch. Can't wait to see what is going to happen in that one. And yeah, this was a very necessary bounce back for KT. Uh, they had been much better than Hanwha. Hanwha had not been able to okay, deal with, I think, the level of...